Hello, welcome back to Be All Back Reps. Hi. I'm Martin. I'm Paddy. I'm George. And today we have the Unstoppable Force meets the Immovable Object. I like both. I wasn't going to say who's who. I know you're a big something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that word. I'm allowed to say every other swear word, apparently. I'm not allowed to say the one that I like. Um, but if you, want, if you want to know what that is, go and watch The Boys. Yes. It's featured a lot in that. <laughs> So, welcome back to game three of the quarterfinals of Battle Bugle season two. So, we have Nids after going through the towel, and we have the Jukai after going through the Grey Knight. Again. Lucky. Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if you're new to the channel, new to the format, this is a 16 player knockout format tournament of Tempest of War. We have 14 members of Bugle Bat Reps and two Team Mad for Miniatures. Um, so, for anything else, elephant in the room, chapter approved has dropped, points of changes, we are in Nephrim, but we are not, we are still in Nephrim. I'm glad because my, my my army actually starts on negative one ZP if we're in Nephrim. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> because we started this doing Nephrim and the list was all submitted beforehand and they have to stick with it until the end. So there's no changes, so it is what it is. And yeah, so it's Tempest War, 2,000 points, and they're all battling out for the Season 2 oh, trophy. The glorious trophy. Someone will only ever come close. He'll someone got win. knocked out last first round last time. Well, I didn't this time. And then someone came in touching distance and then done the right thing. Well, true. Yeah, yeah he'd done the right thing because yeah. he was overpointed. Well, yeah, 80 points. Let's, I won't be doing that. Let's see if someone does the right yeah, thing after this. Who's overpointed by about... I like trophies. About, I'm on a roll. Who's overpointed <laughs> by about 300 <laughs> points. Yeah. You're going to cry about it. No. <laughs> uh, Makes a change. Okay. <laughs> so, last time you two faced each other was actually on this channel. It was. It was Nintendo mm -hmm. Kai. So if you want to go yeah, back time, and find that one. Um, so, it's been a while. Mm. Tempest of War. Indeed. You both haven't played too much of it. Don't they? One, one game. Uh, I'm not, I think I'm on my third game of it. Yeah. yeah. Literally, mm. literally one game was the, um, the, the Grey Knight game. But it was um, random. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So let's get the army of this out of the way first. So let's take a look at the Real Space Raiders Jakari. The Dark Kin. Hi everyone and Jakari fans galore. Welcome to uh, Bugle Bat Rep Season 2. Uh, we're into round two for me after going through the Grey Knights. Um, we're going to start a new series for you. So um, Martin's been uh, umming and ahhing about it for a little while. So we're going to start the first ever game of Bugle Bat Reps coaching. So I'm here today to coach Paddy on how to play Warhammer 40k because he's been playing for about 20 odd years and he still sucks. So we're going to get that going. Um, he, I'll show him how to roll a d6, all your basics moving, how to read a rule book properly, um, and all that. And eventually, hopefully at the end of it, he'll come away thinking, I've learned something from this game after the uh, inevitable defeat. Um, <laughs> but yeah, joking aside, uh, for those of you who don't know, me and Paddy have been friends for a very long time. Um, we've grown up playing this game and kicking each other's asses for the past uh, couple of decades. So I'm really excited about this game. It's going to be really interesting because both our codexes are good at the moment. We're playing Tyranids pre-nerf and FAQ and pre-point adjustments. So um, his list, if it was to be written today, is actually like probably plus about 250 points. Um, mine dropped about 10 points after the point changes. Um, so not really much change for Jakari apart from like the secondaries and stuff, which isn't really relevant for this game because we're playing Tempest of War. Um, my list, for those of you who didn't tune in last time, if you didn't, go and have a look. Um, it was a really good game against Luke with his Grey Knights. Um, but the list is a uh, sort of all-comers MSU list. I wanted to have um, a good spread of units to, in order to react to the ever-changing Tempest of War missions. Um, so I'll start off, I've got three patrols. I have a patrol of Cabal of the Black Heart, and in that one I have my Warlord, which is Drizar, um, and my Archon with a, the Gin Blade Relic, a Blast Pistol, and the Ancient Evil Warlord trait. Um, he is backed up by his trusty Court of the Archon, uh, which is uh, four Slith, two Urgles, or Erics as I like to call them, and a Lamian to give them a boosted leadership value. Um, two squads of five Incubi with Demiclaves on the Clavexes. 
Um, and then I have uh, two Ravagers with triple Dark Lances and three Raiders, one with a Dark Lance and two with Disintegrators. Um, that's just for points, and Disintegrators are still pretty good, to be honest, so um, I quite like them. I've been uh, enjoying how they can still pop Marines quite quickly. Um, then I have a Cursed, uh, not Cursed Blade, sorry, a Cult of Strife Patrol. I have the uh, Succubus with Triptych Whip and a Competitive Edge Warlord trait, which allows her to be incredibly consistent with her, re with her um, damage output. Um, it basically gives her super duper reroll wounds and hits, but it works slightly differently. Um, I then have a unit of Blood Brides, 10 Blood Brides. Um, that is led by a Hecatrix, and I've given her an Agonizer and upgraded it to the Morvane's Agonizer, which is a Cult of Strife Relic. It basically allows her to um, pick a unit that she hit in melee, and that unit can't fall back unless it's a vehicle, uh, which could come in quite useful against Paddy because uh, Nids don't have vehicles. So basically, if I want to tie something up, I can, um, and you'd have to chew through the Blood Brides in order to get out of that combat. Um, and then finally, I have a Artist of Flesh uh, Patrol, uh, which is the minus one damage unless you're strength eight or above, a bit like Ramshackle for Orcs. Um, I have two units of uh, five racks with a Akathist and Electro Corrosive Whip, which lets him hit a bit harder in melee. I have a unit of Homoxites, which I love. Uh, they also have Electro Corrosive Whip. They're just deceptively tough troop units. Um, they, are they are backed up by two squads of four Grotesques, um, just as they come with uh, Flesh Gauntlets and Monstrous Cleavers. And the Homunculus herself... Uh, who is obviously a master homunculus because I've taken the homoxite so she can get back up after she dies. And she's also armed with the Animus Vitae in order to boost the power of pain table for a turn um, and let my army activate just a little bit sooner. Um, and that's it. It's, uh, as I said, it uh, was, when I wrote the list, it was 2,000 points on the nose. It went down by um, 10 points, I believe. Oh, and it's got a three reavers, I forgot. Sorry, it's got a three reavers as well. They're just to um, dart around the board, move block, um, jump on objectives if I need to. Um, and just be a harassment unit, really. Um, I found them to be quite useful. I recently went to a two-day GT, um, and my Reaver Jet Bikes were my MVPs pretty much every single game, so I think they're going to be in my lists going forward. I really, really enjoy the speed. Um, that's it. 2,000 points of Drakari. Uh, stay tuned, you'll see Paddy's list. Um, it sucks, and it's, uh, it's uh, over-pumped nids. Um, but I promise you, I will uh, give it my best shot to kick him in the teeth. And to be fair... I can't really lose, because if I lose, I can just blame the points and the and the pre-nerf Tyranids. And if I win, I can just say I'm the better player. So it's a win-win. So that was Jukai. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that, that will test, refresh ourselves with the nits. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all. laughs> okay, so... This is my list. It's the same, obviously, as last time. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, it is post FAQ, but pre data slate and points nerf. And there was a lot of this. Point. This list now is starting with zero CP, I think it is, and like nearly three hundred points over. So, awesome. Not that I need the advantage. Fucking. Use the shit, my opponent. <laughs> but um, so going over the list, uh, it has a fortification, um, two patrols. It's all Kraken. Um, so we'll kick it off with fortification, spore assist. Love it, chucking out spore mines, either the little ones or the big ones. Uh, also acting as like a pylon for the um, snap defense. Then we go into the first, uh, well, I'll just go over everything. I won't tell you what's in each attachments, it doesn't really matter. So we've got two tyrants. Um, so the first one is my warlord. He has the, the reaper. Um, and the warlord trait is the reroll hits and strike first in combat. Then we have the other tyrant with twin cyber talons, or the slasher version with more claws. We then have a neurothrope. He does his... Uh, 3d6 cast to two models, which is his warlord trait, and he knows an extra power with uh, resonance buff. Then we go into my troops. So I've got a squad of three warriors with cyber talons and adrenal glands, a squad of five with bonus swords, death spitters, and adrenal glands. Then we move into my elites. We have a squad of three tyrant guard, a squad of three venoms, uh, a malaceptor, 
and Death Leaper. Death Leaper is got a wall of trait, his own wall of trait, which is uh, offset, counts five models, can do actions and shenanigans. Um, then my fast attack, three um, Raveners, heavy support is three Bivores. Dedicate Transport is my Sporsis, not Sporsis, Matranocyte. Uh, he has the Synaptic Enhancement, so more Synaptic on the field is always fun. Two Harpies with the Venom Cannons, they've got no additional upgrades on them. So that is the list. Uh, this game is going to be a Bant City, uh, most definitely Bant City. I haven't heard the little, uh, little bit of Bant at the start. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it, it's going to be a very funny game. Uh, watching George cry. Uh, normally George does win, but that's because I pity him more than anything. Um, you know, he, he's a good guy. He's my best friend. You know, I got I got to play to his ego. Um, you know, tell him that his army looks good and stuff like that. When secretly I couldn't give a shit. That's the end of it. You know. I love the guy, but he's a douche. <laughs> so that, that's my list. That's pre-game bants, and we will come back into the mission this year. So that's both the armor lists. So thoughts on each other's armies? How he probably does the I don't like. care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear about George's list all the time. Yep. So uh, George doesn't hear anything about my list. He has a general idea. I think, okay. I think today we're going to find out how well we used to actually listen to each other. Because they talk and talk and talk. Let's see if they actually pay attention to each other. Well, <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so for this, obviously, it's going to be Tempest War, so we're going to draw the cards in a sec. It's also Prayer of Christ Terrain, mm. which will be interesting. So, I, I know you do. See, I like someone it. Someone I like it, but I don't. I didn't like how it, how I deployed. Nice with all my terrain, and Toby just went out with a throw buff down, and then he wins the roll and go. Paddy set up his terrain properly. I'm going to pick his side. Great. Well, we did tell you he was going to pick the point with, and you was just like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was you pick after. Uh, it was before. Well, after you deployed all your terrain, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's pick the cards. Mm. Okay, here we go. What you first? What so, first? Deployment zone. Deployment. Pick card, any card. Guest first. That let's card. Finish. Let's have a look. It's search and destroy. Ooh. Table nice. quarters. Okay, and then we need a mission. We need a mission. Pick card and read oh, out. I'm going to pick that one. So, the mission take and hold. Ah. Uh, in the second, third, and fourth battle rounds, uh, at the end of each player's command phase, the player whose turn it is scores five victory points for each of the following conditions that they satisfy. Uh, if they control one or more objectives, control two or more objectives, control more objectives than their opponent. So it's the same yeah. as we would normally always play. In the fifth battle round, the player whose uh, first turn uh, scores five points at the end of their command phase to satisfy the conditions. The player who went second scores them at the end of their turn. So your normal... Hold, but for five points instead of four. So that's a bit boring, is but this, the, is this, the this is the mission. This is the randomizer. This is the mission. Mm -hmm. well, a special rule. There's a special read out. Oh, this is last time. Yeah. Uh, so, um, supply lines. In this mission, a player only receives the Battle Force CP bonus at the start of their command phase if they control the objective marker in their deployment zone. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. So it's pretty basic. Yeah, pretty basic. It's all going to come down to player skill. What skill? <laughs> it doesn't even know what skill is, people. See, what was I saying earlier? What a skill! <laughs> Just don't be too hard. I'll still go and join Vanguard Tactics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> May happen. Um, so, that's the mission. That's the army list. So now we're getting the guys set the objectives up, set the terrain up, and we'll come back after we're all deployed. Okay, so we are all deployed. So Paddy won a roll for a defender. So he put down the first terrain piece. He also put down the first objective marker because he's the youngest. Mm -hmm. So we've got one objective marker in this deployment zone. 
one in this the boom zone and one two three in no man's land we have got real space readers so go check them out whoop, whoop. on spotify oh. and <laughs> 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 so it begins <laughs> okay so while we're here let's talk through drakai deployment um so i, her I heroically hid um <laughs> right at the very back uh behind a wall um, and huddled together for warmth uh, because we're on a nice planet. So, um, so it's yeah. probably more easier to say what's not on the table. Than what's not on the table are a squad of warriors because they're in the webway. That's it, yeah? Yep, everything else is in transports. Okay. okay. Easy. Yeah. Goes in nits. So, you... essentially, uh, spore assessed, drop in the spore mines, biovolters, and Nero throw in behind here. My Venom's up here, providing a nice little minus one hit bubble. Harpies, things in reserve is Death Leaper, Raveners, squad of five uh, warriors in the Hero Balloon. Okay. Hero Balloon. Okay, so question is who wants first turn? I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, for me, it'll be I jump on objectives. With George, it'll be probably be Try and shoot enough. <laughs> yeah, let's try and exactly. do stuff as cagely as possible. Yeah. So let's get the dreaded. I think I'll roll the yellow one because I know I roll the green one all the time and I always get like a. You got a one? I got a one. Yeah. Let's see if I can. I got a one, one as well. Oh, another one. Okay, I'm going to switch on those. So let's go for one of mine this time, shall we? Four up. Three. Three. Oh, we're doing nice, shall we? I got a one. Five, five, five. First turn. First turn, Jakari. Jakari. Okay. Any pre-game shit? No. Yeah, you're a twat. Um, but I am going to change up my imperative because I can do that currently still. Um, so, so you're at your I'm, high fleet adaption. Yes, I'm going to go for the plus one to charge. He's adapting. And then for my imperative, I am going to go for. Malice Scepter one because if I draw action stuff, yay! Yeah. Go and wish yourself good luck, or are you just going to say fuck you? <laughs> Why? I don't think that's saying. I don't need luck, no, you need skill. Okay, so <laughs> with that, then so straight into Jakai Town 1. <laughs> so neat! <laughs> <laughs> so many feelings! So let's draw some cards. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we've got to play the games. Oh, oh no, so I'm, I'm used to Eternal Warlock. I was going to do that. Right, what have I got? i got uh, Deploy a Teleport Homer. Ooh. Um, one unit yeah. from your army can start to perform this action at the enemy movement phase if it's wholly within your opponent's deployment zone. Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> unit performing this action is an infantry or it has objectives secured. It is completely the end of your turn. Otherwise, it's in the next command phase. That's going to be difficult. Uh, no retreat, <laughs> no surrender. Uh, no unit oh. in your army failed a morale test. No unit from your army failed a full back move. And, and no unit from your army that started a normal move, started a normal move or an advanced move within range of an ejector mark at the start of your turn in this battle <laughs> round ended that move out of range. Oh, that's all right. I've only got one unit on an objective, so or two units. My core. Have right. you now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, capture enemy outpost. Uh, <laughs> If I control the objective, what is this? <laughs> what is this? You shuffled him. Okay, right, so basically, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into Paddy's deployment zone, turn one, to score points. Come get, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, are you going to spend a command point to discard one? I'm gonna, yeah. You're like, gonna have to. <laughs> I think I kinda of have to, don't I? Like, no retreat, no surrender, yeah? No, that one I can do. <laughs> I can do that one. I just can't do. I can't do the full teleport homers. Um, secondary score. I mean, he's got how many models have you got on that? You got like five Three, models? four, five, six models on that. And obsec? No obsec. No obsec. No obsec. I've only got one obsec on the board. Go all the way over there. It's possible, but I think I'll do. Um, I'll get rid of the point teleport homers. Um, okay. For the time being, so not, spend because not a chance of an infantry squad going to be able to. No, not for not until like really late game. So that's just discard it. Yeah, so I can never do that again. Nope. Do I know? Hold the line. Cannot score a first round. What is this? So what is that this game? reshuffled. So put it to one side and, and then, then draw another card and then reshuffle it. 
Grind them down. Yeah, kill more. I'm kill playing those instead. Okay. Okay, so that's your cards. Can't yep. do nothing else about it now. So come back and you're weaving face. Yeah. Yep. Hey, and the weaving face. Jakai, time one. Yeah. Let's go. What have we done? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did a bit of measurements, um, trying to get line of sight on things, uh, do a bit of damage. Uh, moved. Um, I emptied my raider of my blood brides and the succubus and moved it over to here to do a bit of move block. Um, uh, one squad of grotesque moved over to here with the homunculus, another squad moved over to here. Everything that's like behind ruins is basically an inch away to prevent Paddy from charging me easily. Um, raider over here with Archon inside, Reavers moved up, uh, homoxite stayed where they were, blood brides moved over to here, Court got a good advance and moved over to here but stayed on the objective for that no retreat, no surrender. Yep. Um, Ravager's moved up here to get line of sight on the Harpy um, and the Raider with Drazar in um, did a 1 CP to 8 inch advance over to this bit to uh, go on the objective and help screen out Deep Strike from the Tyranno site. Okay. Um, that's it. Um, we're going to go into the Psyche phase. <laughs> Let's go into the shooting phase. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do things that don't have options first, so the Ravager on the right is, on the right as you look at it now, it's going to shoot at the Harpy. So, I just as well do it, because I know that you're going to do it on one or the other, so spend on Transhuman. Transhuman? Okay, I'm going to Agents of Vector. Yep. Um, so from now on it will cost you an extra CP. Cool stuff. Uh, so threes, I oh, know uh, fours, fours in it because you're a, a flyer. One hit. One wound, minus four. So, goes through. That's four damage. Four damage, goes down to nine. Uh, we'll shoot again from the other Ravager. Uh, two hits over, two hits. No wounds. And the um, empty Raider, misses, misses. And the Dissy Cannon, shooting at the... Shooting the heartbeat, so I don't think I'm seeing anything else. Nope, one, uh, fives, nothing. Cool, that's that, I think. So, Lance Fire is a dental. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So, it's not a shooting army, so okay. I didn't expect to do much. But, so, you um, didn't score nothing? Nothing, no, I'm on two objectives, um, and currently doing no retreat, no surrender. Um, and obviously, Paddy can deny me grind if he just kills. Anything. Discarding any cards? Oh, you yeah, get rid of that nonsense. That's uh, okay. discard more than one. Yeah, discard means you want. Oh, I'll discard grind as well because okay. that's not going to happen either. Okay. Discard no retreat. So, no. so end of card, town one, zero points. Zero points. Going to Nids, town Please. one. So, Do some uh, cards. I get a point. So we get blood and guts. Kill for you, it's in combat. Point out that four. <laughs> And secure no man's land. So isn't that all worth a Just take objective and no one's land. Two, isn't it? Just one and your deployment, I think. Control two or more objectives, isn't it? Oh. Cool. Are you doing command um, point any? Hmm. Could try and do it with a harpy. What's that? Probably teleport over. Can you do it with Harpy? This is one unit from your army. Ooh. 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 A wins are competing. Can, can aircraft do actions though? I don't know, it's something I'll have to check. Okay. So I am going to discard. Because so Harpy point. cannot do Because action. Harpy cannot do an action. So point teleport home is gone. And I get capture enemy outposts. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So you got capture enemy outposts and yep. teleport home. Yeah. Good shot then. It was so come back and movement psychic and command phase for yes. nids. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Right, so we've done our movements. So we dropped those spore mines. They then, after a lot of reading through codexes, uh, they then ran up and blew up into the radar. Can we talk about that? Yeah, so point? essentially it's the one thing that has been FAQ'd on the Harpy. Because the Harpy spawns them um, during the movement phase, essentially they can still move. Um, which right, I disagree with. Which he disagrees with. Um, I've seen a load of the competitive players do it on battle reports, uh, but yet George 
thinks that they're set up as reinforcements, but it doesn't say that they're set up as reinforcements. No, but they, it says they don't take up reinforcement points. Yeah. And they appear like reinforcements because they're generated during your movement phase. If it says that they were generated as reinforcements, then mm -hmm. yeah, I would understand, but it doesn't say that. So. <laughs> yeah, and reinforcements can't, obviously when they deploy, they can't move afterwards because that counts as their movement. And I would, I would argue that spore mines falling from the sky counts as their movement. But they're not FAQ'd, so tough titties. That took seven mortal wounds. Um, the, I used the opportunistic advance strap on uh, the harpy, uh, harpy on the high tyrant. Um, and that's about, oh yeah, warriors moved up onto an objective. I didn't bring in any in my uh, hero balloon, so now we move into the psychic phase. So, to kick things off, let's go with an onslaught. Onto my high tyrant. So I'm at Neurothropes within 12 of him, he's within 12 of him, he's within 12 of the high tyrant. So onslaught. So it goes off on an 8, 9, 10. And then no, I'm assuming you're not going to deny. I'm going to deny. Yeah, nice. No, you haven't bought it. Cool. And um, then he's going to cast a catalyst onto the mana scepter. So it goes off on an 8. And then let's go in with the mana scepter. So I'm within 12 of the grotesques here, so the spillover mortal wounds will be onto them, because it's not line of sight. Um, and the closest enemy visible unit is this unit right here. So I'm gonna kick it off with a smite. So it's gonna go off on an eight. So they're taking three mortal wounds and you're taking their three. So that dies, 10 wounds. Does it explode? Mm, yeah, it does. apparently it does. Awesome. Um, feeling a pain on the, on the um, grotesques and feeling a pain on the other grotesques. Uh, take two. Take two on that unit. What about the other? Uh, they, uh, they take one. They take one. Cool. Uh, it's psychic screen because it's not, uh, I don't know, it's closest enemy unit. And I haven't done that yet anyway, which is going to be on the grotesques again. Do you last fight or? Nope, just closest enemy unit. So it goes off on a nine. So another three mortal wounds plus another one. So four. The high tyrant is going to cast Synaptic Law on that unit, so it gives me a reroll charge. So that's not going to go off, and I'm going to spend a CP to reroll that because I kind of need that charge to go off. Right, so he's going to be sat with his decks in his hand. That goes off on 11. So Synaptic Law goes off. Synaptic Law, and then he's going to cast Paroxysm. How many guys have you got in the unit left? Three. Three. So that's in range of your other grotesques. So he's going to cast Paroxysm on this squad of grotesques. So that means no overwatch and you're minus one to your wound rolls in combat. Do so you need line of sight or anything? No, just uh, just enemy unit within 18. Okay. Okay. Or within snap of thing. So that fails. He's not a very good sighted today. Um, then into that tyrant. Oh, that dies. Yeah. Uh... So you could smite something if something's in range. If not, that will be the end of my psychic phase. So the nose of that is in range. So he's going to attempt to smite. So that does go off on a seven. Does it not go like if the closest enemy unit you can't see? Does no. it go on smite there? is always on the closest visible enemy. Closest unit. and visible. Yeah. So. So the fact that my grotesques are closer, but you can't see them. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so it goes off. So, D3, where's the one? On that. Okay, so that is the end of my psychic phase. Because I've cast everything else. So, into the shooting. Full set. Right. So, line of sight, I can't see that radar with mm -hmm. the harpy. So he is going to put everything in for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, just check the range for Sting Salvo. He's in range. So. Yeah, I'll minus one to here anyway, because it's a yeah, tree. There's a tree, tree in the way. Okay, the black and white dice are the Sting Salvo, and the, my dice are 
uh, Venom Cannons. So hit on fours. <laughs> One Venom Cannon hit. So, Toughness 6. T6, so one at minus 1 AP, 1 damage. Uh, so I'll take the Venom Cannon and the other one. The other one yep. is minus 3, so that's 5 damage altogether. Yep. So the only guys that I can see is Grotesques. So, same again as well. Uh, so half into the grotesques. Uh, three is this time. Toughness five. Yep. So one. One at minus one. And then four at minus three. Uh, sort of six ups. So one minus one, one damage. Right. Yeah, so they all go through. So they all go through. So uh, the one taking one damage. No, so I take them whatever order I yeah. want, mate. So, um, so the first four damage. These are four damage each, aren't they? Because they're yeah. completely broken. So he takes two, soaks up another one. Guys, next one. Guys, and the next one takes uh, three, and then the one damage survives on one wound. Fireballs are going to do their action. What's their action? Their action is I do an action during the shoot phase. At the end of the shoot phase, if the action is complete, I get to spawn D3 spawn miners for each one of my Okay. Cool, so that's the end of my shooting phase. Spawn mines! One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are you spawning them? Within 48 inches. You don't even shoot them anymore, you just. I can shoot them if I wanted to, right. um, but they don't do the whole thing of where they miss now they generate spawn mines. I can either do an action to generate spawn mines, one unit from your army can do it. That's like kind of three units. Um, so essentially. I'll just jimmy that out the way now, just because I need to measure the more grotesque. Alright. Because it's going to be six inches away from me, essentially. Each spawn man is an individual model, is it? Nope. So each is so one squad, two squad. Oh, the squads. Yes. Oh, okay. So you can shoot them and then generate them. Little more than six inches away. Happy with where it was? Yeah. So in other words, you want to go on their objective. They're going to explode. Um, cool. So that is the end of my shooting. Charges. I want to charge. Here's my high time. He's going to declare a charge into that lone grotesque. Oh, I get plus one. That's not going to make it, but I'm going to reroll. Nice. Martin tactics. So I roll an eight. Is that eight, eight inches? Let's have a little gander room. So, no, yes. Mm. From the front of your base, mate. From the front of my base, that's well in. Just within an inch. What did you roll? I rolled a seven, seven plus, seven plus one. Ooh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. <laughs> you fucking moving, man. Right. <laughs> I know what I mean. It started. My dice, my dice, my tape measure is the same length as yours. Is it, though? Well, we're not using. Why is he so heavy? We're not using because he's metal. Because I'm a fucking hero nid player, unlike one of these. That's right, you bunch of metal chasing pricks. Right, so he'll go there. Uh, I'll go first. Five attacks. Not even bother with this. He's a reaper of a guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He fucks things for funsies. So when he piles in, 
I'm just gonna turn my wings so I don't get fucking seen on this line of sight shit. Cool. And that is the end of my turn. So I get Kieran and Azan. Yep. Blood and guts. One tally. One. Yep. That's it. And that's it. So you discard any? Guard capture enemy outpost. Okay. So end of round one, you get five points. Yep. For that one. Yep. And then you get five for no retreat, no surrender. Yeah. So end of round one, five points each. Yes. All evens. So into round two. Mm -hmm. So how many objectives is Drakai holding? Just two. 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 So you get ten points. Yeah. Then cards. You draw three cards. Because you discard. That's fine, is it? That's one. Just shuffle that back in. Just throw the cards out. Cheeky yeah, bastard. I don't know where it came from. Cheeky bastard. I remember you used it as a bookmark because oh, yeah. you know, rules lawyer. Um, area denial. <laughs> um, storm hostile. What is this? Like you... that one's gone. <laughs> you need one more. One more. Battlefield supremacy. Stranglehold. Yeah. Okay. That's maybe. Maybe. Uh, this secondary mission is achieved at the end of your turn if either of, uh, con either of the following conditions is done. You control one or more objective markers that were controlled by your opponent at the start of your turn. Cool. Um, your opponent did not control any objective markers at the start of your turn and you control the objective marker in your opponent's deployment zone. So if I take an objective from you... You squat. Five points. Five Jumped up. Either. Okay, so that's all right. Actually, I can do it. Area denial. So you receive turn if you have one or more units from your army wholly within the certain range of the center of the battlefield and objective, and there are no enemy units within the range of the same objective. Mark twelve. So no, it's just not going to happen because he's going to flunk spawn lines on it. I tell you, they count towards this, do they? No. So I've just got to kill the. the other stuff. You've got to kill the other stuff. Any so. unit within 12 inches. So that'd be totally easy. A Malisector, a high tone, high This secondary mission is achieved at the end of your yeah. turn if you control three or more objective markers. Okay, so I've got to control three at the end of my turn. It's not so, you know what? Okay, he's fucking stuck. Um, I'm going to discard area denial because I don't think that's going to be doable and I've got a better chance of doing something else. Uh, extend battle lines. I do, yeah. Secondary mission is at the end of your turn if you control the objective market in your own deployment zone and control one or more objectives in no man's land. That's done. actually pretty easy. So You've done, done it already. Yeah. Nice. So we'll come back and enemy turn. CP for my turn. You do. Jukai, what are we doing? Um, so we got out a little bit. So the Ikibai and Archon got out of this raid and moved over to here to try and threaten the um, Hive Tyrant or at least do some damage to him. Um, the Rax moved up and advanced over to here, caused the Spore Mine to blow up, but they soaked it up and felt no pain. Um, the court moved over to here um, to get on that objective. Homoxide spread out a little bit. The Blood Brides and the Succubus that were here have now got in this raider that was empty. Ravager moved over a little bit to screen out Deep Strike. The other Ravager stayed where it was just to get a decent line of sight. Uh, that raider turbo boosted over to there. It's empty, there's nothing in it. I oh, know it's a squad of um, uh, racks in it, sorry. Um, Reboot's boosted over to here to just charge this and annoy it. Because um, that's what three man Reboot units do. And Jazar got quite a nice advance, moved over to here to try and threaten the Hive Tyrant. Um, and the Incubi are going to back him up and try and chop up the Tyrant Guard because that's what we want to do. And that's about it. Okay, nice. Um, so we're going to go into the shooting phase. Cool. Uh, These things that don't have any options. So. The, so what units of um, spores are these? Like, Two know. units, so a unit of five and a unit of five. Okay, so I'm going to do... Is it? No, unit of six and a unit of five. Okay, so I'm going to do two slith into the unit of six. Yep. And two slith into the unit of five. What's that? So uh, the unit of six is... Not fine, fine, yeah. So hitting on three is one free reroll. Oh. Um, fours, two. Two, so no saves. Uh, unit six, yeah? Yep. Uh, 
and the other one. And two that time, so two from each gone. Two from each. Um, oh, and the homunculus going to lob her grenade. It's uh, one mortar wound on the spore mines. Oh no, on the, that thing. We'll do it on that. On that thing? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what did you roll to hit? Is it a six? It just hits. Oh no, yeah, it's a six. So it's safe? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> Uh, see if the lances are a bit more effective this turn, shall we? Mm. Um, so we'll do uh, that ravager into that harpy, the wounded one. Mm. You can see that one over there anyway, can't you? Yeah, because you fly, you yeah. don't get it to go in. You should have that harpy. Yeah. Uh, one hit so far, two hits so far. Two hits. Uh, I'm going to command reroll one. Uh, three, uh, two saves of minus four. No saves. Uh, that is ten damage. Ten damage? Yep. Five and five. Do I explode? Nope. Um, so the other one, that one in the forest, is going to shoot into this guy. Uh, threes. All hit. Fours. Oh, fours, sorry. Fours. Yeah, because you're a flyer. Nope, one hit. Threes. Nope, can't come and reroll it. Uh, Dizzy Cannon from here Easy. into. Into. Here. Just can't really see anything else because I'm obscuring. To the half here. Yeah, Get into the half here. Uh, fours, a uh, free reroll. Nope, and fives. Take it to T6. T7. T7. Oh, yeah, one at minus three. Minus three, six up. Nope, nope, just two damage. Two damage goes down to 11. Um, and the blast pistol from the Archon. It's the same guy. Misses. Reroll. Black heart. Misses. Oh, that's just isn't it? Good old blast pistol. Um, I think that's it for shooting. Just roll out on your shadow field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <man>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's it for shooting. So we'll do um, the charge phase, the fun phase. Mm. Uh, so we'll charge um, Archon into this guy. Yep. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, we'll charge Incubi into that guy. Ten. Uh, we'll, I'll move it all in a bit. Yeah. Uh, so he's ten. He's eight. So I know what movement I've got to move around. Do shite. Archon's eight. Uh, Jazar into the Hive Tyrant. Yep. Um, We'll do both, might as well do both. Mm. Yeah, four, do both. Yeah, four. Yeah, six. Uh, so it's just yeah. a six. I'll move him in a minute, mate. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Incubi into the Tyrant Guard, seven. Uh, Rax is just going to stay where they are because they're off second. No, they're off second that objective, but they're not happy where they are. And Reaver's hopping up here to charge the fortification. Yeah. They get an eight. And the. Um, Raider charging the bio bio wars. Yep. It's an eight. Yeah. Okay. Do some moving. Okay, so we move models to give us an update to what's going on. Uh, so yeah, the Reavers charged the fortification, and then I suddenly realised they are actually potentially be able to kill the Reavers, yeah. <laughs> which um, <laughs> isn't ideal, but is what it is. Um, this charge here, um, I made him fight last, he's fight first, so he's quite normal, so if Paddy wants to fight before and either my Incubi or my Archon, um, he has to use uh, the CP to interrupt. Um, Jazar charged over here um, into both units, the Incubi charged into the Tyrant, Rax just stayed there, Grotesque charged here, Homunculus got involved as well, Raider charged over there, um, just charges. <laughs> charges, 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 charges. Tormentor Helm went off here, so the Tyrant Guard of Fight last. Um, Tormentor Helm failed to go off on Drazar. Um, uh, that's it, I think. Okay. Yeah. Where are we going to start? That is a good question, and I think I'm going to start. How much CP have you got? Four. Four CP. So you're going to interrupt. We are going to start. So the 
Uh, what's the damage on the more claw things? Two. Damage two. I have re-roll all wood rolls. How many attacks? So he gets five base, plus two for the big side and talons, plus two for the little side and talons, plus one for the rack. And I could spend a CP to get an additional two trade. Okay. So we are going to go with the incubi here first. Yep. Into the, um... What's the maximum potential strength? Five. five. Maximum potential strength. Five. So you're going beyond five. Yeah. Regardless of yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Unless I'm the edge as well. Yeah. Jahaz is plus one rate. You should know it, it's your best mate. Yeah. You should listen to me when he talks to you. Yeah, no, but I just want to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> turn around, man. Turn around. Some fucking yeah, best mate. because the Archon's right next to them. Twos because... Really they're weapon skill two. Oh, they are just weapon skill two? Yeah, they're just weapon skill two. Got a dice there. Got a dice there. Um, Five. Fives. Right, so... Um, so it was one, two, three, four sixes. And what the sixes do? Uh, damage three. Ooh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, fives. So these are, oh, it's all in your ball. So they're four sixes because they're damage three. Yep. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, fives, which are damage two. That's a really good one roll for George. Uh, so I do damage threes. Uh, so I do but one, so I take three. I'm taking three so far. And then. So two damage each? Two damage each, yeah. So cool. it's uh, nine damage. Nine we damage. It goes down to three. Then it's your chance to interrupt with something that's not quite last. My turn to interrupt. Spending two CP. Got two left. Yep. On the high tyrant. So, high tyrant gets five attacks, plus two for the big side and talons. The little side and talons are a different profile. Uh, and I get plus one extra for the relic. So the black ones are the big sun tons, the white ones are the little sun tons. Onto here. Onto Jazar, all of it on Jazar. So hit on twos, all hit. Mm -hmm. uh, wounding on twos. Top is four. Good two. Oh, yeah, two. And reroll fails because of more claws. Okay, so uh, two at minus three, one damage. And then. Eight at minus three, one damage because you're minus one. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the, the two, those two are minus three as well, right? Yeah. Why do you get so many attacks? Because he gets five base. Yeah. Plus one for the relic. Yeah. Plus two for the big side and talons. Plus two for the little side and talons. Side and talons give me plus one for each side and talon I have. Not at all, bro. Uh, so the two other ones, save, save. Yep. Yeah. And then eight. I could have done these all together because they're all one damage, aren't they? Yeah, good. Six, eight. Takes uh, one, two, three, four. Takes four. Takes Down four. to two. Cool stuff. And then we'll do all our attacks. You will indeed. What are you doing? Uh, so Jazar into the Hive Tyrant. Twos, rerunning everything because he hates everyone. And fours. Rerolling everything because he hates everyone, thanks for that. Uh, still only one. That was, <laughs> that was absolutely abysmal, Drazar. Oh dear. Already lost it. Okay. Some dice uh, you got there. Yeah, all right. Uh, Second swing is winning. Three bait. Uh, four that time. Four that time? Yep, all on your own ball. All damage. All damage three. So say two, it's down to six. And then the incubines of the tyrant guard. One, two, four. One, two, what armor save they got? Two up. Two up armor save. Yeah, bruh. T6. T6. Four in each.
Abysmal roll. <laughs> yeah, I think um so it was three sixes and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh seven, eight, four, eight, uh yeah. These are AP four okay. and three damage. Okay, so six One, ups. two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven AP three and two damage. Okay, so three six ups. Save one. So one dies. And seven AP three and two Ooh. damage. Seven AP three. That was a ridiculous roll. That was a really good roll. Look at that. Nice. Uh, two damage? Two damage each, yeah. Cool, so two die. If you like buy bugle back that dice. <laughs> Just reach out right now. Uh, I'll get rid of them too, because they're not gonna Yep, there's already four, so... <laughs> um, then we'll do the grotesques. So we'll do uh, spend two CP to reroll wounds, because um, I need it. I'm going to need it. And then I'll pile in and touch a base. Touch bases. Yeah, touching. touching. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I say, you're all very bad there. Um, he has taken some damage, hasn't he? So it's one point of damage. Yeah, so I might do prey on the weak. I'm going to do prey on the weak. Is that good? Uh, let me reroll ones to hit. Cool. Thanks, dogs. <laughs> there you go. And then strength 5, toughness for billion, I'm guessing. Eight. Yep. Well, it's now. So 5, split re rolling because of Torturer's Craft. 5 racks and 5 12, right? Yeah, yeah should have been. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five at AP three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at AP two. All same damage. All damage two. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so five. So seven, twelve. It was all you. You all got involved in. Four, six, seven. Yeah, four. Right. Yeah. That's very good. Damage what? Damage two. So uh, ten. Yeah, it does. Go grotesques. Do I explode? Do you explode? Yep. Yep. Oh, it's not a thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so, one, two, ten, yeah? It was ten, well, I don't know how many you failed. Um, I've got the fails around it. Yeah, so times that by two. Two. <laughs> Yeah, mm. X-Ray. So uh, we look back and I essentially have to take 14 of the paint off. So, uh, let's save. Let's save. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Say, that's kiss my ass, is what that is. What is that? So I take six. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm down to eight. And I don't wrap it yet. He should cheer up. This, this it's definitely moved from 10 seconds This ago. is the way to win a game, isn't it? Just roll <laughs> fucking obscenely above average. Uh, right, how much are doing hair attacks? Take them all to wound, please. Save it. <laughs> now he's back. Um, 
So one, two AP, three, and one, yeah. two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, AP, two. Two AP, three. All same damage? Three AP, uh, yeah, all, all damage, one. Three AP, well, five all together, yeah? Yeah. All right, okay. That was, that was a good one. Uh, shell two, damage one. Damage one. And take one. Catalyst is okay. Catalyst is awesome. Um... I think that's it, isn't it? Oh no, it's black. Oh, no, Archon. Archon swinging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, one, and something, because he's black heart. And then five. That was good. That was very good. And these are all in your involve. Five off? Five, yeah. I fell one. That's damage three. Damage three. He dies. Uh, so what am I, how many wounds has Arkham got? Uh, he's only got uh, five. Might take a mortal wound though. Just in Jinbaid, is it? Jinbaid. Yeah, Jinbaid, yeah. If I roll a one at the end of the fight, basically he's four, he just oh. takes a mortal wound. Um, I'm going to spend two to fight on there. So that'd be all my CP. Oh. Um, death Frenzy. Get to fight on the top bracket. Yeah, but I got no fight twice. In my code, yeah. Put it on Strife, which is uh, Archon, uh, Drizar, or <laughs> Succubus. I don't have Strife What the fuck? Even better. Um, right, so. Yep, he does like his ones. He does like his ones. You can't feel that pain that he's damaged or weakened. I'm not feeling pain anyway. Have you not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up for another Okay, okay. Right. I don't trust the fact that if I just go, ooh, yeah, I'll put a couple of attacks in front of him, he's got something wrong. So, the Sign Talons are going to go into the Eagle Eye, and uh -huh. the Blade is going to go into the Eagle Eye. Right, so, so how many attacks do you get? I get five attacks in place. Yeah. Plus two for the Sign so they generate two extra attacks today? Yeah, one for each Okay. So, Cyber Talons and the Incubi. So, reroll hits for my Wall of Trade. Four hit. Um, twos. So, two at minus three. One damage. Uh, one save, one dies. Cool. And then Blade. So, reroll fails my Wall of Trade. Ooh. So four hit, two's to wound, you're rolling one for my last rate. So that is four saves, but four mortals. Four saves and four mortals? Yes, take the mortals before take saves. No, you take the mortals after take saves. Take mortals before take saves, twice the relic. What does it say, you take the mortals in addition to normal? Uh, if it's successful, in addition to any other damage. Oh, yeah, in addition. Yes, you take it after the thing. Uh, so, uh, Shadow Veiled, Shadow Veiled. So, so he dies. Dead. Cool, so he takes an half on it. That's okay. And the time. You got him with a fuck you. Um, and over there, the um, Reavers. Reavers. One, two, three, four. And then three for each of the Reavers. Indeed. What toughness is this thing and everything? Toughness six, I think, on sports. I'll double check. There's no minus to hit in combat. He is toughness seven. Toughness seven, so fives. Um, so that's uh, three at AP two and three at AP one. So, 3 at AP1, get the 5 up. Uh, save 1. And 3 at AP2. And 3 at AP2, save 1. So, what's that? So, that's 4 damage. 4 damage altogether. I go down to 6. And then we'll just pile in that way and touch your neurothrope. And then attack the Bibles. Cool stuff. Bibles, hitting one threes, one free reroll because it's black heart. Uh, strength 7. Uh, top is 5. 3s. 1 uh, AP1, my Bible. Uh, 
fine. Nope. One damage? Yeah, just one damage, yeah. Just a raider. One damage, three. That's it, your attack's back with your tyrant guard and your... Everything? Everything, yeah. Part of me, our tyrant is already cool. Yes. So, tyrant guard, he gets four attacks, plus two starting times. I will make the black ones, uh, blending. And I will increase the running attack by one for the high tyrant do with it. Sounds like something like it. Uh, so they get four base, uh, three base, yeah. plus one because of high tyrants within six, mm -hmm. plus two side damage. So, hitting on threes re-rolling. And then wounding on, oh, plus one strength on the range board. The twos on blacks and threes on whites. Uh -huh. So. Two at minus one, one damage, and three at minus four, one damage. So the three at minus four, save one. two. And the two at minus one, yep. uh, so it's on fours. Let's uh, save one, so one, two die. Cool stuff. Um, I will kill one incubi and take a wound on the clay box, I think. Cool stuff. Um, I'll kill this incubi. Where's my dude actually? Anyway, because you can just move it, can't you? Yeah, I'll move it and let it right this one in a minute. Yeah, so. um, <laughs> they don't have to like move towards the nearest enemy unit or anything. Nope. I just Any more round? No, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, Maliceptor, he's going to put all of his attacks into the homoculi. Bracketed? He is bracketed, so he's hitting the fours. Which I hit all of them anyway. Uh, I'm doing the big profile, so I'm strength 10. So, three at minus three. Three at minus three. Yeah. Uh, sixes. Two. Damage. Uh, three, uh, two plus D3. So take four. Two plus D three. This is a big swing attack. So four damage. Uh, take all four. Goes under one. Ah, oh, if only I didn't plan to duck. Okay. You're on a lot of sixes, are so you saying? It is on a lot of sixes. It's, yeah. It's well, I don't know. I think it's out of the fact that you're on seven five off kind of things. You're on a lot of damage. I think that fucking was cancelled out by them little motherfuckers doing as much fucking damage as what you did. More than half of them wounded when you don't get any rerolls to wound and you're wounding on fives. Yeah. You definitely wrong by I damage. passed a lot of five up filling of pains. Kiss my ass. Right. <laughs> then we'll go here into them motherfuckers. So hit on fives. Uh, I'm gonna make my minus one mate, so you hit sixes. Okay. Uh, one hit. And one wound. Minus two. Eight. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> We can both do that. Spy Wars! Two attacks each. I'm not going to bother moving them in, so... Four attacks. Hitting on fours. Three hit. Uh, strength... Six, I think I am, with Spy Wars. So strength five normally. So how many did I hit with? Um, I don't know. I don't actually roll yet, have I? Probably not. Let's again. Okay, so they are hitting on fours. Uh, one, two, three. They are strength six. Fours. Fours. Because you have T4. Uh, three at minus one. One damage. Three at minus one, one damage on the radio, yeah? Yep. Uh, so fives. Uh, make two. Make one, sorry. Uh, so take two damage. You did. Uh, where's my dice? Where's my dice? Get his stretch. You just as about. It's fucking bad as uh, Ned with all the fucking dice on the I just want to throw it around, mate. Um, I think that was he it. Catch your character, no? Yeah, you can uh, head that way with the newest right? Oh, you actually moved the tag to character? Yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. So I think I'll get one attack. Or one. 
You can set much anyway. Look at all these fucking strategies. Oh, yeah, Look at all these stratagems everywhere. We oh, have two whole attacks here on five. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. And I think that is it. I don't think we've got any more attacks anywhere else, have we? I think so. So I killed Narcon. That's another wound. That's a lot of guts, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. That's is it? Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so mission. Better save here, so one dies. Oh yeah, one dies. Uh, this guy. Uh, any morale? Anywhere? No, like a leadership nine, a leadership eight, so they can't fail. Only lost two. Cool. Only lost one. Cool. Um, only lost one. So, cool. Um, uh, I take it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Where are you scoring? So, um. I think I score all three. Um, so if you hold three three, objectives, yeah? Secondary, yeah, I hold three objectives because I hold this one because of OPSEC. Yeah. I hold that one with my racks, I hold that one with my court. Yeah. So I, I score that one. Extend battle lines, I took an objective that was controlled by him, which was this one. Or it's all, oh no, wait a minute. That's just hold two in no man's land. That's just hold two in no man's land, which That's I do. Done. And storm a hostile objective, which I did in the middle with the OPSEC racks. So nice. 15. Nice. Up to. 15 plus 15 is 5 points. Nice. Cool. Right. Do you score and anything in the George's? No, because no. I only killed one unit in combat. So we're going to get an additional one on blood and gut, so I'm up to two units. Okay. So we're going to knit turn two. We do. Hold in two objectives. Hold in two objectives. So you get 10 on primary. I then get behind enemy lines and extend battle lines. What does extend battle lines do? Uh, Control two in no man's land. So you hold one already. Hold one already, so you need to hold another one. Um, behind enemy lines, let's do an action with the No, get two units in oh, his two units, is it? Oh. In holding in his deployment zone. Exclusion effort. Uh, do I spend my point that I've got this turn to discard behind enemy lines? Because. No, I don't feel that. <laughs> Do you, uh, depends when you generate the CP, don't you? Do you? So, do you do the objectives before the command phase? It's in the command phase. I'll just say you generate it after. Yeah. That'd be easier. Cool, so I can't start any, so I gain a point for the start of my turn. Okay, so come back and a movement. Yes. I'm currently on two picks. Okay, so command phase. 3 uh, 6 cast on the Nero Throat, 3 6 cast on the Mana Scepter. Uh, re-roll ones to hit rolls on the Venoms, and then movement, obviously stayed in combat because I don't want to fall back and not be able to cast powers and do actions and shit. Obviously he can't fall back because he's occupation. Um, he stayed in combat because again, same sort of thing. He moved over to the centre of the objective. Harpy flew that way, dropped some small mines, then finished his move over here, mainly claiming line of sight on the Ravager. Uh, the high turret has moved over this way to help deal with the raider and then when the guys drop out also the uh, venoms have also come over to also help out with any racks that decide to drop out. So that is the end of my move which then I drop in some hefty rajers uh, to jump onto the ink by shortly. Um, currently this one count is 17. So, uh, End of the movement phase, obviously I couldn't do his action because he's in combat. So into the psychic phase. Let's do some psychic keenness. Skipping the psychic phase, is it? No, bro. Okay. Um, so where do I want for painkinship? Right, I don't need onslaught for this turn. He's got Paris on him anyway. Don't need to be. So Yeah. So, first things first, let's do a smite onto the racks. So, that's one. <laughs> so, it goes off on a seven. Yep. So, two mortal wounds because I'm on second bracket. Plus two. Four mortal wounds. Four mortal wounds. Then you'll do the smite, or whichever one it was. What did I say for the first one? Just smite first. Just smite. So, psychic screen. So, again, seven. So, another two plus another two. Eight mortals so far? Eight mortals all together. Yeah, because mana bricks are completely silent. Um, they are. In fact, they're not anymore. Uh, I take four, so one grotesque size. Sweet. Okay, then we will do the high tyrant. So the high tyrant is going to cast Smite on the Raider. So plus one. So it goes off on ten. Yep. Doing 
One. Down to seven. Down to seven. Did, we... Does he get plus one cast then? He doesn't. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can't use like Scream anymore, but he is going to do Catalyst on himself. So it goes off on a nine. So Catalyst on himself. Then we are going... I don't going... like that power. Huh? I don't like that power. You don't like that power? Good. It doesn't like you. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do a Smite on the Raider again. From the nearest throat? From the nearest throat. So 3d6. And a seven this time? Yeah. Yeah, but it goes off on an eight. Nine, ten. Right. It's not super smite, unfortunately. Doing three. Down to four. And then. Uh, synaptic law. So bounce on the bounce on the bounce. Bounce up. That was it. Bounce, bounce, bounce onto them motherfuckers. So we will charge. It goes off on this nine, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got charges on the ink line. So we're just casting from the mana sector. Cast, bounce, bounce, bounce. So confused. <laughs> <laughs> he it's says, pylons. I just go, okay. It's pylons. It's a mm. thing. And inside the link range. Yeah. So. I need to close the charge. That is going to be the end. We've got charges against him. So, he's going to shoot into them. Do you mind someone? Uh, who's going to shoot into what? He's going to shoot into them. Two, three, three hit. No wounds. Excellent. Oh dear. Excellent. What was the one I just got? God, you're so rubbish at keeping things. I really am. Okay. So, uh, next we have the Harpy. He's going to put the. He's targeting. Both the racks and the raider. Okay, Must want to hit them, Jeff. Yeah. Not the racks, because they're right there. Right there. Uh, <laughs> so, sting us over into the racks. Uh, not minus one to hit on the racks. Minus four. Threes. Nice. So that's seven. Nope, six saves at minus one. Six. Sixes. Not a one. Feel no other things. Uh, they all die. Yeah. Then into the Ravager. Uh, and two more fours. Threes. So two at minus three. Uh, like a field. No, both go through. Eight damage. Eight damage down. I think it's dead, I think. Down to one. Down to one. Four. Bottom bracket. Um, Most definitely. So, charges, I suppose. Yeah, because I've got no shooting. Charging with charges. Right, so with the Ravagers first. I need an 8 inch charge. Ravagers? I've got Ravagers. Ravagers, whatever. Ravagers. <laughs> Ravagers. <laughs> Ravagers. 8 inch charge, and I get to reroll it. That is it. Oh, you get plus one. Is I get plus one in yeah. my adaption. So adaptation. All the, like, you know what I'm going to do now, right? So they're all in. Torment out of you. Um, Then my Venoms are also going to charge. So they're in on a fight. Yep. So essentially, he will go to the wall. I tight charges in as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, George has two CP left. I do. Quick break that. So, end of the charge phase. Yeah. 
Does any points last? Is that from the band of six? From the band of six. Oh, I think actually it's non vehicle unit. Okay, take him all to wound. Take him all to wound, bitch. Um, my incubator are going to try and torment a hell your raveners. Cool, what's my leadership? Because that literally never comes up in my games. Never seen him. He finished Kalex so much. I know, right? It's like I don't play them. You got a bit rattled, I think. Uh, ha! Roll the dice. What is it? Roll the dice. Nine. That no, we should play. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh dear. Oh dear. One oh, rabbit doesn't fight last. Yeah, bro. I only need one. It's fine. Yeah, you do only need one. One rabbit will literally pick up that. I know. <laughs> but I might be able to take two with me. Who knows? Right. Okay, so they're fighting last. Yeah. Um, my fight first. So first. let's just go in with the high ground. Just get him out of the way. So he gets. Five attacks, one for the relic, two big side times, two little side times. Sorry. Hit on threes. Do they lose attacks when they go down at all? Or? No, they yeah. lose movement, weapon skill, and ballistic skill. Okay. So I'm going to reroll one of them, one of the big side talons, uh, with the tail attack. Tail attack? So prehensile yeah. tail. That's the fucker. And then uh, threes. And a six. Ooh. So one at one damage, and then five at two damage. So the five at two damage on yep. sixes. Dead. I think it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. So it blows up. It does not. And I'm going to spend a CP to do emergency disembarkation. That's the one. I lose three. Sweet. And you're going to use these racks that you killed earlier. Good stuff. Put them six inches away from the radar. Yes. <laughs> um, and then piling three. Well, they have to do the whole piling thing. For yeah, and then it's like your next fight first activation. So um, your benefits can pile in and move. No, the pile in and consolidate three inches at each. So they can move six inches towards the racks. So he's going to, because he ends closer to the racks, but he's not in combat. You're not engaging them? No. No? Because there's no point. That's one of your dice. Uh, okay, uh, then your first gun charger. Thank you, buddy. Cool man. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Oh. Hey, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Bye. Uh, so, what toughness are you at? Five? Uh, toughness five. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, single hand attacks. So four for the Clavex, three for everyone else. I lost a Incubi earlier, didn't I? So there's any four Incubi. So twos. Oh, uh, threes. Why threes? Snakey boys. They minus one to hit. Yeah, oh, that's good because it's turned three to one plus one to hit. Cool man. Wasting my ass. Six of freaking fours. This tank boy. Strength five. You got plus one to tons for back up. Yeah. Okay. No, because um the animus vitae went on through the animus vitae. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So, um, right. So that's, um four, three at AP four damage three. Damage three. And four at AP three damage two. So, AP three damage two. Yeah. Right. Okay. So no saves and probably the fucking squad again. So. Hang on. So these are at damage three. So. Uh, one dead, two dead, yeah, three. Oh, well, that was shit. Torment of Helms. That was shit, wasn't it, boys? And then they'll come sort of like three inches towards the mana centre. George, with fucking... Right. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, so. Fuck you, that's one of them. How many wounds has he got? One. One. No inbound? There's six out. Okay. Um, 
I or so I'm going to dedicate one attack, but do it as sweep attacks. So, so I get two, two hits. attacks. Yeah. And then the other two attacks that I get will be the big attacks against the grotesque. Yeah. So into the monkey eye. So two hit. Yep. Toughness four. Uh, strength seven. So one. Uh, six up in ball. Nope. Yes. Uh, for oh, pain. Damage two. Uh, strength seven, you said. Strength seven. So minus one damage because of our suppression. Yeah. So, nope, ah. dies anyway. Phew. <laughs> Come on, uh, get it back. <laughs> and then two big attacks. Both hit. Twos. Yep. What strength are you, sorry? Uh, strength ten. So it'll be threes. Why? It's on six. Not this is there. Yeah, it all happens at the same time. It's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one. Um, fails, damage. Uh, damage four. Four. Uh, that's one. I take three. So I'm down to one wound. Cool stuff. And uh, then, um, uh, I think it goes into you. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You don't get any rerolls now, do you? No, no, I haven't got CP for it. Um, so I'll just hit you normally on twos. Unless you're minus one for some reason. Mm. Okay. Mm, Five. So um, three at AP three and three at AP two, and all two damage. What are you doing? I roll roll hot in combat when he dies. Dice blood. Um, you get to fight with your technical guy. I do. Because I did that activation wrong, but it doesn't really matter. Right, it doesn't. So, ooh, look at that. Three hits. Three hits. Threes. Uh, three at minus two. Uh, sixes. Two damage piece. Nope. Oh, mm, dead. Oh, the actions again. Woo! Um, that's it. Um, end of the phase. See if the monkey gets back up. She does. Oh, one hey. No, Master Monculus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, end, master end of the phase when she dies um, on a two plus. On a two plus, she gets back up on uh, D three wounds remaining. So she's got one wound. So I don't get that point, but I do kill something. No, you do. It still counts as killing her. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, so I still score five on that one. Yeah. Extend battle lines. I'm still holding. Do you have two. to hold your home one? And you also kill the Reavers as well, mate, and the Raider. Yeah, no, I still score five on that regardless. Yeah. Uh, He's fucked you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just start down to him. What have I done? Five. In score uh, five points. I have to hold my home field objective. And then that I'll kill the Raider. Oh. oh. That was completely unintentional. I was just going to. <laughs> no, no, it's my fault for not reading the card. I was actually thinking I want to try and deny him the CP. <laughs> like that, was, that was my plan. That was my go to plan. Uh, fucking. If I'd known the, uh, the card, which is my fault, I didn't read the card properly. Um, then I wouldn't have killed the raider because I knew that you were just going to jump on that objective. So. Right. Um, okay. For some reason, though, I had desperate breakout in my head as it was. Two Des CP. Desperate breakout is two CP, but that's the one where you can fall back from even if you're wrapped. Um, that's desperate breakout, but emergency disembarkation is that the was one. It. No, that's yeah. that's the one I was. Yeah, yeah, that's one CP. So. I've been getting that wrong. I played that at the curtain event. I yeah. played that all event on two CP, um, <laughs> and I used it in every game. <laughs> like, so. Damn it, so we both get rules wrong. <laughs> okay, so you get five points. I do. Do you score anything at end of phase then, George? No, no, because no? I've, I've, okay. I've cleared my objective pile too. Um, so end of round two goes up to 20 points for the Nids and Drakai's on 30. Yep. So going to Drakai hand three. I'm on three objectives. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. score 15. And draw some cards. Uh, so defend stronghold. Um, Oh. At the end of your opponent's next turn or at the end of the battle, whichever happens first, the secondary mission cannot be achieved during the first battle round. Um, if you generate the secondary mission during the first battle round, pick a new one. Hold your deployment. Hold my deployment zone. Oh, well, okay. Control the jet market in your own deployment zone. Yeah, end of pay, stud. End of your turn. So you've got to kill 10 amoxites. 
attempting target when the secondary mission is generated. Your opponent must identify one objective marker in no man's land. And that, uh, I, or if I get it at the end of my turn, I hold it. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Where are you going? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no prisoners. Two uh, fatty wounds. Each time an enemy model is destroyed, add a number of marks that kills thirty, kills 30 wounds. Yep. There's not even 30 wounds left on the table. Yeah. But, so you take the base stats, so like the harpy 12 wounds? 11. So whatever wounds it's got, it does add up. It's a bit of a rubbish one. It's not um, too bad. It's not bad, it's not great. <laughs> Probably not discarding that, but I'm not I mean, gonna... if you killed the mana scepter this time, it would have been nicer for you, but... Yeah, it would have been. I'll kill too much. <laughs> yeah. Kill too much. Greedy guts. Silly you. Silly me. So we'll come back and remove it. Yep. Your card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, movement done, um, the raiders kind of swapped positions, um, Ravagers, sorry, Ravagers kind of swapped positions, uh, Homoxite spread out a little bit to help screen up Deep Strike in this zone, um, re- uh, the, war- uh, sorry, the Court of the Archon advanced up to uh, try and take up this Tyrant Guard, um, Carbola Warriors Deep Struck out of the webway and streamed out across this way to um, screen out Deep Strike and hold that objective. Rats just moved back a little bit and they don't really need to engage. They can just wave at the venom ropes and say, this is my objective and there's not a lot you can do about it. Um, incubi, the hero Incubi that tormented the Raveners uh, advanced over to here, um, aiming to try and get a charge off onto the um, blob uh, thing. Um, Grotesques came over to here, tried to threaten these um, warriors and um, that's about it, really. Nice. Uh, so going into shoot, oh the radar with the blood rides moved over to here um, again. Try and set up for um, the next turn to potentially threaten anything that tries to take the mid board off me, um, and also screen up deep strike a bit with the radar prowl. Um, so we'll do uh, some shooting. So we'll do the um, like absolutely mullered um, ra- ravager into the um, harpy. harpy hitting on sixes. Indeed. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and a five. Uh, uh, three, sorry. Uh, one. So one at the moment. How many three. wounds have you got? Eleven. Eleven. Um, two CP. Three. Three. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, D3 plus three. So four damage. Four damage. And then the other Ravager that's on mid bracket, I think. I think it's on... Oh, no, it's on ten, so it's on top bracket. So, no, the other one that you almost killed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, one hit so far, two hits, and threes. Nope. Oh, I. I am going to command reroll one. Hit wounds, and d3 plus three, four again. Four again, done three. And then we'll try and shoot the Dissy Cannon at it. From the radar. Three, uh, four to hit. It's one hit. Fives. Nope. Uh, so it's on my one. Um, then we're going to shoot uh, Splinter, Shard Carbine, sorry, into him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, so he's from the slip. They advance, so they're minus one to hit, but you're minus one to hit anyway, so I'm just hitting on fours. That was, see what I mean about shooting? Oh, what the fuck? Terrible shooting, great everything else. What the fuck? Fours. One. No EP. No EP. No um, And there was like two carbolites lights that can see him through the window, I think. Yeah. Three carbolites lights that can see him through the window. Oh, I'm going to reroll it because I didn't roll too many dice. One free reroll because of... Any anyway, orchids. <laughs> I'm going to throw two of those away because I don't know what I rolled. Nothing. Did you feel bad then? I feel a bit bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm doing anything anyway. You don't want one, three wounds. Like, Splinters don't do anything anymore. Um, I think that's it for shooting. Good stuff. So we'll do charges. I shot Splinter pistols into you. Um, yeah, we'll do charges. So, um, grotesques into the warriors. Yes. Gets a nice 10. Um, we're going to do um, the homunculus into them as well. Gets a 9. 
I've I'm got to say nothing here. I said I roll above average on my charges and melee. Right, Martin's going to have to get ready with the beat here, but that's cunt move. <laughs> <laughs> Incubi into there. Uh, seven. That might not be enough. That should be it. Yeah, it's in because it goes through buildings, don't they? So, uh, caught into um, the lone tyrant guard. Indeed. Oh, look how drunk you. Six seven. again. Seven. Yeah, I'm just noticing another six roll. Yeah, I know. And a one. I keep seeing that logo. Oh, wow. Follow real first raiders, learn how to roll sixes. Coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vanguard Tactics are going to do a video on rolling dice soon anyway. Yeah. yeah. Definitely going to happen. I think that's it for charges. Yeah. I'm not going to charge the racks because they'll die to venom throats. Of course, you'd pay pound to watch it. Do our moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just do our moves and um, come back at the end. Yeah. <laughs> What are we doing? Um, so uh, we're going to do um, the grotesques first. So Paddy's played a stratagem for minus one damage on them. Yep. Um, so I'm going to split my attacks between the flesh gauntlet and the cleaver. Um, so we'll do uh, four attacks each with the flesh gauntlet. Um, and then three additional attacks with the cleaver. Mm -hmm. So these are hitting the Um, the flesh corners are strength six, so they're wounding on threes. Yep. And the cleavers are strength five. So the cleavers hit and they're minus three. And the flesh gauntlets. Uh, so it's one at minus one. Two at minus two, minus three, sorry. And one, two, three, four on your normal armor save. So we'll do normal armor save first. So one fail. That's yep. up. So one, these are just one damage each. They're just one damage. Yeah. Okay, so it's all going to be one damage anyway. Yep. Uh, the minus one, so that's another wound, yep. and then the two, two at minus three, at minus three, which I don't get saves on. So one dies, one's on two wounds, and a mortal wound in addition for the flesh gold. No. One's on one wound. So. Kill him off. Nice. Uh, we'll call him with the Incubi, uh, not the Incubi, the um, Hemunculus. Oh, yep. Um, and we'll do her Mortal Wound Thicker Injector, just take a Mortal Wound. Okay, so that one more he does. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, twos, and fours. Uh, three saves at AP, or eight, one at AP three, two at AP two. Two at AP two. Uh, so, no, I mean, the 183 kills him. Mm. I thought with the epic jacket you'd do that instead of the epic. Yeah, you, you get sacrifice one attack and then the scissor hand. Oh, you just you... sacrifice one attack? Yeah, and then right. the scissor hand gives you two extra attacks when you use it. Right. And it's poison, four plus AP, two, one damage. Yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was under the impression that um, you sacrifice all your attacks to an No, no, you just, you just, it's like. Um, yeah, you, you can only use one of your, it's a melee weapon, but you can only use one of your attacks on it. Um, uh, incubi then. Incubi into the goo. Into the goo. Uh, what toughness is it? Toughness seven. Okay, so I'm going to do the strength five. Toughness seven. Armor. Toughness seven or toughness six. Uh, four of armor. Four of armor, okay. Indeed. Okay. Uh, so the orange ones are Clavex. Uh, he's going to use his uh, dual wield profile, which makes him strength four, AP two, but still damage two. Because uh, cool. I'm winning you on fives anyway. Yeah. So, so twos no rerolls, and then fives no rerolls. Uh, so only two, I think. Damage. So uh, AP three damage two, AP three damage two. Um, oh, uh, damage three. Sorry, that one. Okay, take five. On one wound, that's what I can say. Uh, okay, caught then, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah, caught the Archon. Um, so two Urgle. One, two, three, four. What toughness is this guy? Six. Six. Five, six, six. Five. Six. Uh, 
one at AP2, two at AP1. These are all one damage, right? So AP2, his wound, AP1s, uh, both saves, so he takes eight damage. Uh, the court and the slith, we roll one because of black heart. Uh, five, uh, strength five, so uh, fives again. Um, yeah, so one at AP3 and three at AP2 from the slip blades. AP3, nope, and AP2, yeah? Yeah. So it takes another wound. And uh, the two from the Lamian, uh, both hits. And poison two plus. Uh, two saves, one at AP1 and one mortal in addition. So saved. And one at AP nothing. And one mortal. And one. Okay, my attack's everywhere. Your attack's everywhere. So, time guard. It's three attacks, two seven times. One hit. Okay. Yeah. And one wound. Minus four. Uh, five up in the hole. Nope. And damage. Down four. Uh, 15. Sorry. Of and <laughs> then my spore assist. Ooh, two hit. No wound. Strength five, you've created. Oh, you've created strength, is it? Okay, fair enough. Cool. So that's that then. Good Yeah. Good yeah. Um, I don't know what I got for no prisoners. Uh, I don't think a lot. Uh, you kill, you got nine. Nine. Warriors. Yeah, the warriors were nine. What is it? Yeah. So nine to 30. Did you score any cards? Uh, so I've got Defend Strong, oh no, no. not yet, because it's at the end of your turn. Yep. Um, I've got this one because I'm holding this one now, so I get yes. five. Um, so and I think I'm actually going to discard this one, because I don't think I can actually get it unless I completely you table you. You literally have to try and table me in order to get it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to discard this one. You score another ten, possibly. How many wins does the Tyrant got? Tyrant. The Hive Tyrant. Oh, Hive Tyrant, you haven't killed the Hive Tyrant. No, but like, yeah, it's, I don't think I can get 12. it. Well, it counts as twelve. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep it now, I think. I've got nine so far. Okay. So you go up to 50 points, end of yep. your turn. So going to Nids, not scoring nothing. I'm scoring nothing. And no command point. No command point. It's a bad position. <laughs> okay. So hold the line. Uh, what was that doing again? Keep any units out of your deployment zone range. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's um, so six inches from your deployment zone. Battlefield Supremacy, that's the stronghold. stronghold. And storm hostile objective. Take so an objective you don't control. don't control. So just take one of them. Yeah. Kill two okay. Okay. So we'll come back and then movement. Movement phase. Harpy has landed but flown over there. He dropped some spore mines and what did I do with the spore mines? Oh yeah, I did more wounds on the court. Then. Seven. <laughs> Some more ones. Uh, ben has moved over this way. Uh, High Tyrant flew over with an advance. Uh, Spore Mines killed the Ikebai in combat. Uh, then I fell out of combat here. Definitely got dropped in. Warriors and Tyrannicide dropped in. Uh, he's doing his action. And of action, I've dropped Spore Mines. I don't know where to put Spore Mines yet. 18 inches. Score mines onto the objective which is a great task when there are enough damage. There's a bucket one there. So six inches away. Nine there, so they're not actually on the objective because that would be within six. Okay, so they're there. Right, so psychic phase. The Nero throat is gonna do some castings, so Onslaught, because that's very important power. So it's going to go off on 11, 12, 13, 14. He's going to do Catalyst on the Warriors. Um, I'm a warrior. On the Warriors. Yeah. Uh, that goes off again on a 12. Then the High Tyrant is going to cast a Smite onto the Homoculi dude. That goes off on an 8, taking. Three mortal wounds on your mock Why is it a mock Why is it not grotesque? Because they're the same distance away. 
is a great thing. So three more wins. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Fucker. Okay. Uh, synaptic law because I don't want to fail that charge. And it goes off. On 12. Cool. Shooting time. So, these. This middle one with yeah. Ross, isn't it? So he's going to shoot into them. So, one, two, three, four. Five desperate loops. Minus sixes. one, because I'm in the forest. Yeah, sixes. Nope. There we go, I suppose. Um, Tyrannosite will do the same Just for them. Hitting on fives, because he's not raided and I'm not shooting into a forest. That's up to three. Uh, so, Three saves at minus two. Uh, oops. Mm, take three. No field of pains? Nope, I'm going to kill the Lamian. Cool stuff. And then uh, the Death Spit is from the Warriors, same unit. So hit on threes. Threes. So five saves at minus, uh, minus two. Five saves at minus two. These are damage one, aren't they? Yep. Uh, take two. Oh, and they'll do their action in the ship phase. Uh, Harpy. Harpy is going to gun cans into the one with the ten wounds. Mm -hmm. And then stay inside one to these guys. Uh, minus one to hit the uh, cut lights. Cool. So into the Ravager. Minus one because I'm in a forest. So two hit. And two wounds. Minus three. Fives. One goes through. Hit four. And then stay in salvo. Minus one on them, isn't it? Yep. So no, nothing. Okay. I think that is the end of my shooting, so I spawn some spawn mines. Do I? Do I just fucking shoot into that? We hit them on sixes. We try and fucking kill them. Where else am I going to spawn mines? When do they when do they do their actions? You know, the start end of, of the shoot. End of the uh, they start their action during the shooting phase, and then it ends at the end of the shooting phase. No, they are going to spawn because I've already declared they're doing an action. So, they spawn. One, two, three, four, five. Five more little spawns. See on the shooting into the charges. So into the car lights. How is he trying to do that? Because he landed. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. We're doing multi charge. We're doing multi charge because I'm in range. Yeah, I'm gonna do multi charge. Uh, high turn. Uh, um, into them. Yep, nine. Uh, eight. Michael Jackson off before I get copyrighted. <laughs> Just noticed. Yes. Uh, uh, into the bones. They're in. 
Then the nun. We got one CP. No CP left. No CP left. My yeah. left out CP. Um, so I think that's all my charges. Definitely good. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Jeffrey? Stay where he is. This is the thing with Zerifin, like, considering how much I've killed, like, and how much it cost me to kill him, he's still got so much. Wait. Good, mate. Um. Definitely, but definitely, but what are you gonna do? Let's charge the fucking units in the middle. Of cool. I know they're a tank, your bastard unit. He's in. Do his death, he's in. Thing. They take more wound and they strike best. Yep. One dies. And do high attacks first, shall we? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you get five attacks, one for the relic, one for killing a unit. And then two big side cannons and two big side cannons. Hitting on threes. Re rolling one of my big side cannons. Yep. Uh, wounding on threes, re-rolling. So two, four, six, seven. Uh, on your eight doors. These are all damage. Damage two. Strength eight, yeah. Yeah. He hasn't lost any because he's degraded at all. No. no. It's moving back and forth. Uh, pass one. So um, six lots of damage. Yeah. No, pass one. one. Takes one. Six of another one. Dies. Takes two. Um, and then the last, uh, another one. Takes so dies. dies. And then last one. And then the last one takes the last two. And then um, another hand. And then two wounds? Yeah, he's on two wounds. Dies. Um, I just want to then do my roll or if you can get them. No, I'm just going to pick them up. Yeah. Uh, then, um, Warriors. Uh, four attacks each. Twos. Two, strength eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen saves at minus two. No, nope, minus three, so I'm cracking. Three, it's got any process to be visible. 
That's just nearest, mate. It's not nearest visible. It's just nearest. Does it? Yeah. Okay, then it'll be that. Okay, you then activate to go from there, so he's closest to him. Mm -hmm. uh, Harvey is going to, he's got four attacks. I've got one attack into that and the rest into the... Uh, yep. What's he hitting on? So he's hitting fives. Okay. So into the Raider, Ravager, hits. Wounds, minus Wounds. three. Uh, five up. Yep. So it dies, two damage. Does it blow up? Okay. And then the card lights, no hits. Uh, so the card lights get swung back and the grotesque Indeed. gets swung back. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, seven, three, put a slide right. Uh, toughness. Uh, seven. Six. Seven. Seven. Six minutes. Two, AP one. Crusade. Grotesque. Mm. Uh, grotesque, yeah. So five attacks into the um, thing. Uh, three. So two at AP two and one at AP three. Four ups. Crusade. Fuck it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass. It's my time to roll. <laughs> okay, is that in the turn? Yeah, I think so. So what do you score? So, uh, hold the line, I score because there's no enemy. You'll do your end of George's go. Oh, is it? And there's six of your deployment oh, yeah, zones. Uh, Battlefield Supremacy, I'm only holding the two because fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, and Storm Hostile Objective. Yes. So I score five. Okay. Uh, I'm discarding Battlefield Supremacy. Six inches, sorry. Um, you've got no reserves left to come in, have you? No, no it's all on the board. So apart right. from the witches in the But bear in mind, grotesque. Yeah, yeah, I won't yeah but he can't, he can't fall back and advance, so he won't be able to get into my deployment zone. But he's only got to be within six of your edge. Within six? Just strike force mission. Like, Just within range of my deployment zone? Yeah. Oh yeah, six inches. I've seen that. Oh, fuck that off then. <laughs> he's literally just got to fall back and denied. Yeah. But you get to defend Stronghold and the Stronghold because I'm still holding my hand. Yeah, there's, there's no way I was going to go and kill 10 more Okay, Not so. Easy. End of Nid's turn three. You got 25 points. Yep. And George is on. Fifth. You scored two of your cards. I scored two of my primary, my, two of my secondaries, so I've got plus 10 for, second, for secondaries. Cool, so you'll be on 40, so I'm on 25. Um, and I'll be on 45, 55. 55. 25, 55. Nice. And around three. Cool. Okay, I so you're going to need, not it, it's Drakari. Really shit cards, now that'd be nice. Blood and guts. Convenience in combat. Bring it down. Uh, your highest wounds on the table. Oh, for crying out loud. How many wounds have you got? Yeah, I couldn't do the heartbeat, it's on my... Okay, <laughs> but you are getting a command point. You're yeah, holding point. two objectives, so you get ten points. Two objectives, yeah, so yeah. Okay. Testing one, yeah. Okay, and then movement. Okay. What are we doing? Um, so, uh, movement... Oh, I know what I was Sorry, movement is... Uh, Raider moves over to here. Um, Witch has just got out. Succubus got out. She's, like, in this corner. Um, Raider moved, Ravager moved up a little bit to free room for the Hemoxites to come out and try and uh, tackle this um, Harpy. Um, Grotesque moved back, fell back uh, four inches, so I'm outside of heroic intervention range in case I don't kill it in shooting. <laughs> so, um, that's about it, I think. Uh, warriors just stayed where they were. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so we'll do some shooting, so uh, we'll do things that then have options, so the Lances into the Hive Tyrant. I mean, we've kind of got a lot of options, but yeah. No, so it all missed so far. All missed. Yay. And the Disintegrator, same target, two hits. 
two hits and fives. One wound at AP3. Oh, two damage. Yeah, two damage, yeah. So you found a four. Found a four, still move a bracket. Um, pistols from here into the warriors. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours because of poison. Uh, so, so far it's uh, five. And then the grenade is three shots. Three hits, fives. So, yeah, uh, it's um, six, six, six altogether, but one is AP1. So, AP1. Safe. Yeah, five AP nothings. And then, Thunder Pains. Uh, one dies. Get a warrior and pistols. I'll take it. Um, then charging. Um, so I'm gonna spend. Yeah, I'm gonna spend my one CP to um, allow him to still charge. Uh, do that when he pulls up. Just like when you want to when you want to do it, basically. Um, which is into the warriors. Yep. And the tyrant. Yep. Um, succubus into both because I can't get my base um, into just yep. one. Um, so the succubus. Yep. It's an eight. Uh, the witches get a eight. Nine, yeah nine because yeah, of strife. They're definitely in. And a um, grot gets in. And the rats. I was, I was just having know. sixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do some moving. There you go. Yep. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. T5. Twos. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, and damage two. Four pinballs. You got four pinballs, yeah, bro. Uh, well, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and then she is going to do her super succubus ability. Cheating bitch. And then the blood rides. Oh, we'll do the we'll do the grotesque first because yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably have a few. Let me try. Uh, five, two. AP2. One save, one fail. So two damage. And two. Uh, the block rides. So I'm going to put two into the tyrant. Yep. And the rest into um, the uh, warriors. warriors. So two into the tyrant. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And uh, twos because they're block rides. Easy. And then fives. We the ones because of the succubus. Uh, so that's one AP four. I uh, no. Yep, one AP four and one AP uh, one. Yeah, the AP four. And then um, uh, attacks number two. I think this is from the Hecatrix. Uh Two. We run on ones because of the succubus. Uh, so it's, it's three at AP three. Um, because of three agonizer damage. Damage, damage one. Then the pain. Uh, two wounds. And then it's uh, two, two, so it'd be seven, which is so seven times four is twenty eight. eight. One, two, three, four, five. Not six, counting twenty, eight. Eight. Like that. <laughs> No, I'm not. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't really see that, so twos. That's a fair few ones. Is there another one? Uh, fives. We run in ones because of the succubus. Right, so it's. Uh, Four AP four. No, 
and three at AP one. So AP ones. So two go through. So six swings all together. Then it pays. So one dead, one on one wound. So right, there's one. One wound's already on two. Yeah. And then he'll go down one. Okay. Uh, so my attacks will be five. I'm not so. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, back fist, six attacks. Poison four up. Uh, three AP two. He dies. Do I explode? Yep. No prisons. On two wounds. Good, isn't it? Uh, so seven, two damage, and one, one damage. Uh, so one, one damage. Nope. Uh, Fill of pain. Nope. Just another one. Two, three. That did alright. These are all two damage, aren't they? Two damage. Okay. Oh yeah, so uh, I forgot at the start of my turn, my imperative switches to sixes, explosion combat of the warriors, um, and I rolled an additional four sixes. So to wounds on a two. There's plenty of ones. Look at that, lovely job. That's what I like to see. Lots of ones. Uh, seven, please. Uh, fail three. <laughs> Aces. Right. That's the end of your turn now. Yep. Um, so I didn't get bring it down, obviously, because oh, I'm, yeah, Tyrannocytes there. Yeah. Um, I did get Blood and Guts. You did. Because um, I killed three units in melee. Uh, no prisoners. I was on nine. Nine. Seven, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 15, 18, 28. 28, I was 28. Fine. You're on. Is that including yeah. definitely for warriors? Oh, 28, uh, 29, 30. Yeah, so done no prisoners as well. Is uh, that even on characters? Yeah, anything. Yeah, anything. Is it? It's, yeah. it's easy in terms of. I might discard, bring it down. I don't think I'm going to kill the Tyrannicide, and I don't really want to because it's not that big an issue. So I'm just going to discard, bring it down. Okay. Idiot. So you get 10 on cards, takes you up to 75 points. Going into Nids, holding two objectives. So you get 10. Yep. So it goes up to 35. And then what cards? Overwhelming firepower. Oh. This is the shit one that I wasn't looking forward to. Defense stronghold. And raise banner. Okay. I get points for each banner I raise. No, nope, just, right, just do the action do on a do objective yeah. in no man's land. And it's done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, command point because you're on your back objective. Yeah, I do. Do you want to keep them all or do I get rid of one? Uh. Overwhelm firepower, kill three units and shoot him. Have you got any guns left? Oh, you got death spitters. I'm not death spitters, but I'm in combat and I can't shoot them. Uh, I don't get my CP back before I can okay. start any. Okay. So, it's only the one I can't really do. Which is fine. So, come back in the movement. Okay. Movement phase done. So, join the command phase. Uh, Reroll one's hits on the warriors for the high tyrant. 
Um, then 3d6 cast, 3d6 cast, and that was Itsuki. Then I dropped some small mines in for that dude. Now we're ready. So, then just moved over, trying to get a nice little charge off on the witches. Yep. Tyrannocyte moved up onto the objective. I had to advance for him. So now we're going to the psychic phase. So, first things first, we do the Eurothrope doing onslaught on this idiot. So that goes off. So he has onslaught. Uh, then we'll do Neuroparasite on the witches. So again, that goes off. Uh, how many dudes are left in there? Seven. Seven, yeah. So I roll seven dice. I'm going to beat toughness, so four ups, you take mortal wounds. Take one, two, three mortal wounds. High Tyrant is going to cast Catalyst on the Warriors. So that's a fail. And then uh, Snap Law on the Witches, which goes off. Catalyst does not go off on the Warriors, but there are Snap Law in there. Okie dokie. Uh, that's the end of my Psychic phase. So into the Shooting phase. Starting their action. Uh, here. We're going to put all of the shots into the battle of the planet. One, two, three, four, five. You can't see the card lights because you can't see me. So, hit it on fives. One, two, three. Five. One. Minus two. One damage. Three. Of course you did. Look at that. Six. Those wonderful real space radio dice. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that it would have mattered anyway. So, end of the shooting phase. Spore mines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Spore mines. Oh, 12 spore mines for the tally. He doesn't, he doesn't care now, he's just going to be spore mines. Six. Minds. We're going to put him over here, right? So I'm going to just jump in there. Double charge. George put him down. Have him close up against the building. More towards the radio. Have you had some? Hey, guy. Right. Combat. Charging. Let's charge the Venoms. So they're definitely in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good floating idiot. You might as well try. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll that. You can. Yeah. Good floating idiot. I'm getting charged by a drop off. You are. Yeah, there's two in this bitch. Right. Uh, let's see if your little shit faces is like last. You've got a six inch arrow, have you? No, three. I moved it to the, just there. Ah, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, see if the witches strike last. They do not. Okay, okay. So, we will do. I'm going to do the bounce first now. So, one, two, three. That was rubbish. I get an extra one because of the six. We are on twos. So, five at minus two. Two. Oh yeah, four up as well. Yeah. Dodgy dodgy. Uh, then my next charger. I'm gonna fight with the witches first. Because they have couple stripes, they fight first. Indeed. So we're gonna put um uh, we're gonna put it into the vent troops. What's here then? Is he fine? Why do you two wounds? Because two in his bitch. Um, so the... No, we're doing it to the Warriors. Do the smart thing. Do it to the Warriors. Um, this is the Hecatrix, sorry. Uh, fours. Uh, two. Uh, one at AP3 and one at AP4. 
Yeah, AP3. Oh, it's actually AP6. <laughs> okay. So two go through. Damage. Damage one. He's all damage one. So and then five rerunning ones because of the succubus. Two. Uh, one save at AP1. Okay. Uh, that's a one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Lost it. And then your attacks with the snot thing. Boat an idiot. Fighting snot. Two. Two. At minus three. Take one. Nope. Domino. And succubus. Indeed. Everything into the warriors. Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one miss. Only sixes? Yeah. How many fucking sixes you got there? I know, right? It's fun, isn't it? It's fun. Uh, da, da, da. So AP four, AP four, AP three. Two damage each. Two damage each. Yeah, and she will do her six inch consolidation thing that she can do. And just move a bit closer. Cheeky bitch. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Now those, my three just fucking sit on the jacket. Because it's how you fucking get the mods. Right, go around. Um, how many did I lose? That's turn six. Six. Uh, what turn are we on? Four? Yeah. Turn four, so that's six. Leaves you at nine. So yeah, I can't play on. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Oh, yeah, ten. Yeah, you're on the way. Cool. I do have that, Jack. Okay. So, okay. Uh, no score raised banner. No. Uh, Defend stronghold. And it's George's turn. Is it? Over on five now, I didn't kill a unit shooting. No. Nope. So I'm going to discard that to okay. another hot shooting there. What's the, um, what's the one that I can. Defend stronghold? Defend yeah. is a home objective. So, yeah, you've got to take my home objective. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you don't support any points at the moment. At the moment, no. So, end of round four, it's 75 Drakai, 35 for the Nits. Yes. Going into Drakai turn five, you're holding two objectives? Two, yeah. So you've got to 85 points. So that's 50 points behind. Yeah. You cannot physically catch up. You can only score six, 30 points max. Hold three objectives and hold three cards. Max you can go up to is 65 points. You can do everything. Uh, so, just one of my turns. Yeah. The one saying. yeah, so he goes up to 85 now. Right. And then you're on 35. So you're 50 points behind. You can score 15 on primary, 15 on cards. So 30 points, you can score max. So you yeah. score everything, you'll be 20 points behind still. Unfortunately. Yeah, I messed up with not reading that card. Because that would have kept me in it. Because it would have been a failed spring, so I don't know. But yeah, we'll talk about that end game. Yeah. But yeah, that's me done. Dickhead won it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that statement would have been true regardless of who won. Okay, so that's it. And. I still win this. It's going to be unbearable. Because. <laughs> George is a penis. Nobody really likes him, especially me. Crown of dicks. Uh, yeah, crown of dicks. Uh, yeah, I. The mistake that cost me the game, I know full well it did, was misreading the card. I thought the card that we drew, or I drew reading, was hold two in no man's land. Turns out it wasn't. It was hold one in no man's land and one in undeployment um, zone, which that cost me five points of my turn and, and five, points of primary. five points of primary plus a CP which would have meant you could do stuff I could do stuff yeah, yeah so, that and to be fair that was pretty accidental because I, I, I knew that you were going to 
Emergency Dismount. Emergency Dismount. I knew that was going to happen. I knew I was going to lose that objective if that dies. But yeah. I was like, well, I'm getting five points anyway for that. And, um, yeah, it, I don't know. Like, I, I shouldn't have, like, reading the card, I was like, right, okay, I'll leave that Raider. Don't really give a fuck. Um, so I still hold that. I will still gain the five, still get five during my turn. Um, because I would have bogged that objective down to a point where George wouldn't have been able to put guys on it. Because mm-hmm. essentially, I would have just chucked spore mines on it. Yeah, because you have to go place. through a wall of those bloody bombs. Yeah. They are they are ridiculous. They're so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I spawned two hundred and fifty points worth of gaunts. Uh, gaunts spores. spores this yeah. time. And Thanks your list again. is like technically three hundred points more expensive than it was. When yeah. It was so essentially, good. all I would really need to do is drop the Malaceptor and a warrior, and I'll be at, I'd be at points, but I start at zero CP. The list needs a complete rework. Um, My tapes is completely illegal. <laughs> it is completely illegal. Uh, so, I mean, that was the bit that cost me the game. Um, I the warrior, uh, the ravenous shouldn't have died. One ravenous should have survived. Someone's um, dice was quite hot. Dice is quite hot, but I'm not blaming games on dice. The, <laughs> I don't know. It, like, at the end of the day, one of those Ravenous should have survived, and that one lone Ravenous probably would have picked up those ink by because they have a fuck ton of attacks. Um, Torment and Helm's coming in clutch. Yeah, it's Tony's leadership. It's one of the reasons why uh, Tony struggled against uh, Chaos Knights because of the Dread Table. Hmm. Because Tyrion's leadership is shit, unless you're using a lot of synapse. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, man of the match, as always, is four assists because he picked out four wins. Um, yeah, I tried to shut him down. Like, it's just, it's so couple, hard to shut him down. Yeah, a couple of bad times he did, Seth. Who? Well, it's four assists. He was in trouble, sometimes. He was never in trouble because four wins are around. I can't, I can't believe he's, uh, like, I mean, how many points do you? 95? Yeah, it's crazy. But what it does is, like, it's, like, one of the best things in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits there and poops out for It just sits there. It's actually relatively durable. It's relatively good in combat. Like, you can it's, keep it. It's not. It's not relatively good in combat. But when you throw three jet bikes at it, over time, the jet bikes will die. It's just, yeah. I rolled quite okay for, uh, in that one round of combat where I picked up the other two. But yeah. that was it. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm still very much on the fence of Maelstrom. Maelstrom? I quite like it. Or, it's or, like... Or, or, or the cards. Like, I, I like it because it's a throwback to Maelstrom, but it's not Maelstrom. No, uh, Mael... because you can't, pick, you can't pick your deck. Like, I think that's yeah, the thing. Like, it's, it's... Even, even before the picking your deck thing, it was, it was great. So it was like, okay, hold objective five. Then... Yeah, okay, I'll throw some units over there onto objective five, that's points for me. Or kill the enemy warlord, that's points. Kill, I don't know, a vehicle, points. Kill a monster, points, whatever. Mm. Like, that. that's the parts that I really enjoyed. I don't... Essentially, this game is a game where you have one turn of a secondary, essentially, yeah. because of the cards. Um, so, yeah, I'm very much on the fence about it. Um, it is very easy to get screwed over on cards. I mean, we saw George's turn one where he literally scored five, five points. Yeah. And then I... But you did as well. We both drew, I didn't we both really drew almost identical secondary yeah, turn yeah, one. I didn't really like, draw any better. Yeah. Um, and then it was my turn three cards as well, which one I completely fucking misread, which cost me. No, it was, it was turn two cards. Yeah. Turn two cards, which I completely misread it. See you. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what you think of the game of the turning points, but that's where I think. Um, yeah, I think uh, I managed to deny um, some secondaries well by um, just keeping you engaged, mm. keep killing stuff, um, throwing bodies away. The emergency disembarkation play um, worked a lot better than I thought it would. I was literally just trying to yeah. deny you primary and CP. 
Um, I do that like um, tactic in pretty much every game if I have the opportunity. Um, like being able to boost the raider up 22 inches, charge something innocuous like biovores or, or something, just to keep something busy. And then knowing that the raider is probably going to die, but I can emergency disembark six inches and grab a grab an objective if they haven't got if your opponent hasn't got objective secured on the objective. Um, I, I will try and do that in almost every single game because it's, it's very effective. Mm -hmm. um, it was quite coincidental that it just happened to deny him a secondary as well. I, I literally didn't know that's what the secondary did because we then we haven't played temp as much, so that was a fluke. Um, I rolled hot on my melee um my melee attack my melee damage output on several occasions throughout the game were very good um like like spiked quite high on the incubi um and um in, in a few other locations um my shooting was meh um it is now for Chikari, yeah though, that's like, the thing like before i used to really fear the chikara shooting phase yeah now i'm just like cool man there you get to shoot Cool. Yeah, it I doesn't use a unit. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot. You, like lances are the best we've got, and they have um, into tyrannies. They've got some actually tough matches because there's a lot of T eight rocking about, yeah. um, and a lot of involves. Um, and uh, lances really don't tend to do very well against that. Plus, they got a one CP transhuman, which I tend to vex every game because that's the one that really, um, really hurts me a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, that is a it's a tough it's a tough game. Um, considering how much I feel like I killed, um, and Paddy still has so much on the board, <laughs> like yeah, if this was you didn't like, kill a lot. <laughs> no, it felt like I was because it was you, it was costing me so much you, to kill you killed what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six units. Yeah. So blob squad of warriors, little squad of warriors, one tyrant, tyrant guard, raveners, death leader. Yeah, and like how much how much resources it cost me to get those kills. Yeah. Um, is insane. Um, but that's just the nature of like pre pre nerf uh, tyrannids. Um, like yeah, it is what it is. I think I played it pretty well. Um, kept things back when I needed to keep them back. Uh, managed to play the primary consistently every turn, uh, which helps a lot. Um, and yeah, managed to deny the primary. But uh, it's uh, yeah, I'm genuinely surprised I did add that well. To be honest, I thought I was going to get I thought I was going to get trolleyed. <laughs> if I'm honest, but um, but yeah, I think it just goes to show that I'm just a better player. Um, we, it has to be said. That's a two for two now. Well, it's what happens when you deliberately misread read cards. <laughs> <laughs> By the next time, I'm going to get an actual crown. I, I desperately try to get a crown. I'm going to get one next time who's and wear it for our next game. Fucking win next time. No, I don't need to win. I'm just going to wear a crown just to just to you know have a crown, King George. Dickhead George. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean thoughts on. Essentially, what's going to change for tyranny? Well, me for tyranny. I mean, I do like the spore mine list because it's fucking funny. It is good. Um, like, I would probably drop one of the harpies, but if I was going to keep a harpy, it would probably end up being a stranglethorn harpy because it's still quite potent. It still picks up marines and shit because it's, uh, I think it's three plus D3 shots at strength eight minus two, two damage. Um, but then it also it's it's still like a hundred and seventy point unit, ish, hundred and seventy five, one of the two. But I can still drop spore mines. Uh, I'd still have a spore assist in there. I do quite like the squad of three viables. Um, not so much for the amount of spore mines it can produce, but more the fact it protects, like the neurothroat, because like if they do get caught out, where okay, yeah, you do drop in somewhere behind, then at least I've got bodyguard support. Mm -hmm. on the Bibles because this they're, they're quite a tough unit, a T five with four wounds. Um double tyrant is dead, hundred percent. Like you you're spending two CP on the actual detachment. Um and hive tyrants they're they're good, but you need to spend CP on them. They're incredible. Them and that, that one great. that one hive tyrant just ripped me apart on that. It, it's funny because like everybody raves on about the, the Reaper, don't you? Or Reaper the Reaper can be really good. But every game that I've played, I'd probably say say I played ten games with the Reaper and the Morcors Hive Tyrant. Mm. I'd say one game out of the ten, the Reaper has done better than the Morcors. Because like obviously he's a massive target. But the more claws just picks off shitty little units throughout the game and then goes super saiyan into something end game 
like running around with essentially an extra four attacks plus d3 if I spend a point on them. They just wreck face. They yeah, just pick up crazy. most things. He went. He went through like so much of my army on his own. Like yeah. um, just that one model just went through like so much of my stuff. Yeah. Um, and he's still alive at the end of it, even though I threw tons of stuff at him. Like it's just yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. That's me out. So that's the end of the tirades. Mm. And on goes Mr. Bighead to take on the Red Angels. Why don't we kill with Mr. Bighead? I mean, like, scoreboard. Just look at the scoreboard. Mr. Bighead. If literally, you, literally. If you've seen our group chat at day one, a two day event. Oh, God, he didn't shut up about it. Oh, gee. Fucking hell. Let's get on my level. Constant moaning. <laughs> <laughs> you think you won some big. It was a GT, but would be fucked. I mean, I've done that, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we've both done it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I I generally don't know what to do at the minute, mid-wise, because we are going to struggle. Yeah, you days. are. I do, actually. I played I played so a game against Tyranids on Wednesday, um, art, like post, um, post FAQ and Nerf, so with, with the point adjustments and the mission changes. Um, and their secondary game is really weak. Um, I, I now have to build specifically for like feasting yeah like feasting is is really good if you play a combat army if you're playing like psychic and shooting you're like okay yeah cool pick the sergeant off. yeah it's quite easy for your opponent to deny yeah, it so it's like really easy to deny it so you kind of have to go massive into combat um and the uh, no one will take the synaptic one because it's dog shit it's probably the worst secondary in play at the minute mm. Um, I thought you'd go for the spore one. <laughs> like the, the, spore, the, the, spore. Pro- the problem with the spore nodes is it takes up shadow operators, so that means no rod. Yeah. Um, and it has to be done with a troop unit. Uh, well, it's either warriors, where warriors, they're mid, they're mid table. Like that's, that's why they sit. They, they sit mid table and they go, come at me, bro, and just tank it. Um, which leaves you with warriors, gargoyles, and Xenobots. Hormies? And Hormies. But it's like, cool. They're really expensive. If I want a squad of gargoyles, I might as well take a squad of fucking warriors for 10 points more. It's annoying. Yeah. So, I mean, the, 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 whilst their secondary game is, is not the best, like there are armies out there that got really, really good secondaries now. Data um, though. The, data, the raw data slave so like power good. of Tyranids is still insane. It's so like, fucking good. It's still crazy good. But it, it's the getting the points. It's yeah. like, yeah, I might be able to table my opponent, but if my table, if my opponent sat on like 75 points and I only just scraped 60, what's the fucking point of having these uber data slaves? Yeah. I think more the, the most the, the more important one is the like the CP economy of the game has completely flipped, um, and like so just t- Tyrians have a couple of ways of generating CP, but not very reliably. The, the kind of list that I have in mind is going down interrogation and feasting. So I have two ways to generate CP. Yeah. Um, but it involves heavily tacking into that. Yeah, but at least you have that option because you get psychic interrogation, yeah, that, which can that generate essentially, CP. That yeah. essentially becomes like one build, but then like. Um, I was going. I completely lost what I was going to say then. Um, I think it was someone was George is the best. I think that was no. I'd never no. say anything like that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that was it. So um, it's character psychers can only cast the two powers now, which mm. is really annoying. Um, so it means also having to tech into. Like with feasting, I would need, I, th- I would have thought, oh yeah, take a brood lord because it's character as a psyker, has feeder tendrils. It lost the feeder tendrils keyword. Uh, so, or not keyword, but the feeder tendrils thing about it. So now it doesn't benefit from feasting as much as like a lictor. Definitely because obviously gone up quite a few points. And the. He's still crazy good though. He's, yeah, he is. Yeah. If he gets the Obsec and five models as. A free thing, mm. 120 points. That's worth it. If you haven't taken the warlord trait, it's not worth it. 120 points for that isn't worth it when you don't have offset. That's just me. I do have an idea of a list to run to LGT, which I think would be quite funny. 
um, go for a troll. La, 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 la. So. Two hundred, two hundred turbo grants and three turbo grants. My back would <laughs> tell me to get fucked. Um, I would love to run that list. Yeah, we could break it back doing it. I, I would play one game. I'm like, cool man. I'm in a wheelchair from now on. Awesome. Yeah. Just get one of them fucking a couple of they are now sticks that you just push models. Yeah. Turbo. My my list my list changes quite a lot in the um, the new game because um, uh, like. Well, a lot of my damage comes from my characters, but in order to make the characters do the damage, you need obviously relic and warlord same, traits. Same deal with Tyranny. Like, um, my general units outside of, like, Incubi don't do a lot of damage. Um, so it's kind of a case of trying to uh, play the mission more um, and um, keep and pick, like, your sort of two best characters um, and stick with that and... I think the list I, the list I played at the game the other day was like heavy, heavy MSU, and that was really, really fun to play. Uh, just loads and loads yeah. of really small, minimum size units all over the board, and then raiders to put them in. Um, Dropping the Ravagers. Um, I'm still on the fence about them. Some games the Ravagers are incredible, and other games they just kind of seem to bounce all the time. Um, and they're quite easy to kill a lot of the time as well. Um, and if you can't hide them, they're the first thing your opponent mm-hmm. kills. Um, so talking about incredible though, um, because I've already made my promise of you know I will be top UK mid player, it's gonna happen. I kind of wish I didn't make that promise because White Stars looking pretty fucking awesome right now. Yeah, they got some good <laughs> secondary games. Their, their secondary game is sweet, yeah. <laughs> so fucking good. Yeah. Um, you said you can stick with this. I am sticking with this this year. I am sticking with this this year. Next, next year, um, you said that about Orcs, though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah you did say that about Orcs. Good, good, good copy of me. <laughs> yeah, you did say that about you. Do you want to be like me? Necrons, is it next? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So, yeah. You know what you say? You have nice toys, you get taken away. Or well, you bully with your toys, and you get taken away. <laughs> Nids always have nice toys, but it's you know, GW hates Nids. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on, we're not playing that violin. We are. Yeah. Every single time Nids get a codex, the game changes because of Tyranids. Yeah. The reason why the rule of three came out, because wankers decided to spam nine high tyrants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that. that was uh, because of the can only hit monsters creatures on sixes if they have wings. Because of tyrants. Uh, what else did they change because of tyrants? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So long ago. Anyway. Right. So, I say to you, you let me down. <laughs> On to <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? Did you... I feel like it's an uphill fight every time we come here. I'm, I'm supposed like... to be his star player, right? He tried fucking me over at the GT that we played last weekend, and now he's like, you let me down and you can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's going to, to, to Kai versus Blood Angels in the next Ooh. semi-final. Ooh. That's going to be brutal. Blood Angels are really good at the moment. Like, the Armour of Contempt buff they got was... Whew. Um, and yeah, there's like a load of sanguinary guard and stuff like that. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough fight. Um, um, I, think, <laughs> I think Jamie's reaction when he found out is one of you two was oh fuck. Ah, Jamie, bright. Jamie, Jamie's, Jamie's good laugh. Jamie's right, a good yeah. player. He just needs to pick up his speeding game. I think. What about we we got to like... speedy here. So yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So they'll be starting midday and they'll finish about midnight. If I'm not in an event, I'm, I'm taking my time, man. I'm just like, <laughs> I fucking know. That. <laughs> <laughs> the cogs need a bit of dirty TD. Fucking hell. We started this game two days ago. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon if it was it. Yeah, we chess clock George, he'd be, he'd be clocked out halfway through his movement phase, turn yeah. one. I think these things. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking late in the morning now. Um, <laughs> go check out Robert Space Readers. That's not his t shirt. Uh, you can check out Hulk if you want. Like, he's, he's a good laugh. Go ahead him and yap on Roger Kai and all the shit. Go check him out. Kai can Instagram. So, be all about it. Instagram, Facebook. Hit a like, hit a subscribe. And, and Discord as well, Mike. And Discord. All yeah. the links on this on down below. below. Yes. But until next week, cheers, cheers on. Champion. Okay. <laughs>